So I don't know if you could see on my face here and here. It's not so much over here, but I feel it. But that is from using that elixir. I have to say it may not be for everybody, but it did not work well with me. I know I'm looking a hot mess. My hair needs to be done. I haven't done it. Excuse it. I don't have any makeup on at all. I was told by the dermatologist to try not to use any makeup for at least a month. Let my skin breathe. Try to let it restore itself. She gave me some ointment to put on it and try to fix the spots on my face. As you can see, it kind of cleared up quite a bit, but you can still feel a little bit. I do have the uh, Clarisonic scrubbing brush that I do use with a soap that she um, told me to use. Anywho, it still has a little bit of the roughness on it. And it's hard to explain because they are kind of like bumpy and dry. I've never had an issue with my skin. I've always had wonderful skin. So when this started to happen with using this product, I said, you know what, let me go to the doctor, see what it is, come to find out. One of the ingredients that is inside the elixir is cow's milk. And I cannot have cow's milk because it has the A1 and A2 protein in it. And I can only have the A1, which there is a milk out there called A1 milk, which is the only thing I can drink that does not irritate me or my skin or my innards or anything. So I had to stop that right away. Listen, this particular elixir may be great and wonderful for other people, but it just definitely didn't work for me. And I stopped it and let my skin try to heal a little bit. Then I tried it again and it still didn't work. So, you know, obviously there's something in the actual product that does not agree to my skin, which my dermatologist is feeling that it is these cows, the, the cow's milk always try to make sure that even if it's a PR package or it's something that you want to try because you see it on the internet and everyone's bragging about it try to always look at the ingredients in it a lot of times when it's coming from foreign countries we don't know what's inside these actual products and it's highly highly important that we know what we're putting on our skin putting inside of our bodies just make sure you do your research and look at things like my dermatologist said, if I would have ignored this and continued to use it, I could extremely damage my skin and cause permanent damage. Not that I haven't. You know, just having the understanding that you need to be patient and you need to look into things and investigate things before you start applying things in your eyes or, you know, on your skin or anything. So, anywho, I stopped it and now I am using majority of all the Tatcha um, products. I know they're extremely expensive, but I have found a lot of it fairly reasonable, a really decent that's never been open. It's a full size item on Poshmark. And I have to say that those particular products I haven't had any reaction any problems with I see a big difference in my skin I, I can't knock those products down nor the elixir because it does maybe work for other people and they may it may enjoy it well that's the end of the video and the review I hope it was helpful and I hope it gave you some food for thought about trying new products and looking into them and things if you do have any questions please feel free to drop them down below and I'll be glad to answer them to my best ability. I want you to go out and I want you to be fabulous and be fancy and enjoy your weekend. Until I see you in the next video. Bye.